three important ingredients. Right? The first one is the fuel. Now, we're talking about fuel for our everyday lifestyle. Energy, we require food as a source of fuel. Same goes for fire. The second one is the oxygen. Right? The air we breathe in. So, fire requires oxygen to burn. And last but not least is the initial spark. So, with these three ingredients, we are able to witness. Fire. Now, for that to actually be true, we're going to actually do an experiment over here. Right? Now, what I have over here is the lycopodium powder. Now, lycopodium powder are the spores of a cloud, Moses, which is a plant, which is none other than the first ingredient, the fuel. And second is the oxygen surrounding us. And last one of these is the initial spark. So, ladies and gentlemen, who is on the left, now, kindly draw attention to the petri dish. If you see something burning or you see fire, you raise your hands. Are you ready? Okay, count out one, two, three. Do you see fire? Is there anything burning? Probably not enough oxygen. So let me move on to my right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, over here, what do you need to do? When I say one, two, three, I need to breathe in and hold it there. Ready? I count out one, two, three. Ready? And hold it there. Is it burning? No, that's very strange. Now, let's try a second experiment over here. Now, the same three ingredients are over here. Now, if you see this color, we will see fire. Now, that is where I place the lycopodium powder and the oxygen surrounding us. And last but not least is the initial spark, okay, which is right over here. So, on the count of one, two, and three, let's see whether we are able to win this fire. Are you ready? Alright, I'm going to do a count of one. Whoa. Now, how is it possible? Whereas the first experiment you didn't see fire. Do you see the power of flames? Very simple, because fire actually requires an intimate contact with the oxygen. So there is a why when the lycopodium powder is being dispersed into the air, it has optimum contact with the oxygen molecule. Same reason why when you call SDF if you catch fire, the first thing they tell you is to roll on the floor. Why? Because it's fun? No, it's because it eliminates the chances of oxygen contact. So I've explained a lot about the first word. What is the second word? Tornado. So what is tornado? Can everyone make the hand signal? It's basically the swirl. So if you combine the fire and the swirl, you get the fire tornado. And where are you going to see it? Right in front of you, this tall glass chamber, you're going to witness a six meter tall fire tornado. What is the science behind the fire tornado? Simple. When hot air rises, the cool air gushes in from the angled metal wings at the bottom, causing the wind to be directional. And turn together, a six meter tall fire tornado. And for that to happen, ladies and gentlemen, let me invite my fire tornado specialist, Mr. Wong. Right? He's going to ignite a fire. So for that, can I have a round of applause for him? So, as I mentioned, the three ingredients on a fire tornado is the first one. The Fuel. So the fuel that we're going to use over here is inside the white container. It is none other than the kerosene combined with methylated spirit. So kerosene doesn't burn easily. So that's the one we've added the methylated spirit. The second one is the oxygen inside the glass chamber. Last but not least, as you can see, the long metal black rod over here is where the initial spark is going to come from. So with this tree, we are going to witness the fire tornado. No man at right here at the Science Centre and it's Konya. So if you are ready, you can get your cameras ready. We can upload any photos or videos at any social media. So let's try to present it to you the fire tornado. So like I mentioned, right, when hot air rises and cold air crashes in, in a couple of seconds you will see the hot spiral action. Now if you move all the way to the top, that is a, there is a filtration system which minimizes the chances of air pollution. That is the reason why fire to me is only done once a day. For the next four to five minutes, so don't go anywhere as you're going to witness a different type of fire tornado happening inside the glass chamber. What you see right now is the ventilated spirit. In a couple of minutes, you will see the kerosene being heated up. How do you know kerosene? Simple, when you start seeing the black smoke. Love 
this right now. Show is three thirty-five years and a Monday exhibition. 